today we are discussing the third video on third video on graph theory and which is on graph traversal algorithm that is breadth first search so uh, let's start with graph traversal algorithm so graph traversal algorithm is that traversing the graph means examining all the nodes and vertices of a graph as you have already seen in tree traversal so if you have seen my video of tree then there we have discussed the three traversal one was in order one was pre order and one was post order so this were three traversal of tree where we have traversed all nodes of a given tree given binary tree so in a similar fashion we can we traverse a graph yes you can traverse a graph there are generally two method one is bfs breadth first search and one is depth first search so today in this video we'll discuss breadth first search so let's start with breadth first search what is breadth first search the algorithm of breadth first search is given below so i'll just show you the algorithm the algorithm algorithm start with is examining the node a node a from where you have to start no from where you this is the source point and all its neighbor then you have uh, you have to examine all its neighbor in the next step the neighbor of all the nearest node of a are explored and process continued and you keep on exploring the neighbors of neighbors of neighbors of neighbor and like this until you you know explore all the nodes of a given graph no the algorithm explore all the neighbor of the node and ensure that each node is visited exactly once and no nodes is visited twice fine okay so let's see the algorithm algorithm is very easy so first step of algorithm says set status is equal to one ready state for each node of g suppose you have a graph suppose you have a graph and there are four nodes fine suppose there are four nodes a b c and d now first your first part is to set the status of all these nodes as ready state that suppose these four nodes standing in a graph are came for an interview fine so here is an interview room here is a waiting room and here is all 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 other are actually waiting suppose this is gate all are ready to enter inside the gate so when they are enter inside the gate since this waiting room is very small i we cannot accommodate all so we can accommodate suppose one two or three then what we'll do suppose set status of one is equal to one ready state that they all are ready ready for interview and queue the starting node so suppose this is the starting node i'll call the node it is in now it is in waiting state no and i'll set status is equal to do that is waiting state now a is in waiting state now step 3 is repeat step 4 and 5 until queue is empty so this is what this is queue this is queue so what what we'll do we'll we'll keep on repeating step 4 and 5 until queue is empty so what is the step 4 and 5 see this is step 4 and 5 so step 4 says dq node n node n means node a i'm not talking dq you know just remove this node that this node will finally go to the what uh, uh, interview room so i have removed this node from queue fine and set is status equal to 3 now this is process this is uh, her her entire work of today is finished because uh, she uh, she or he is in interview room after that she'll leave the place no so status is equal to 3 process state set, step set, what is step 5 which which needs to be repeated is nq all the neighbor of n n means a now your job is to nq all the neighbor so what are neighbor of a b and c so i'll nq b and c similarly i'll ask b to move inside and then c to move inside and i'll keep on removing until so again i'll set their status from 1 to status 2 in a waiting state and end of loop will keep on repeating will keep on repeating until the queue is empty and at six, six step will exit so this is now a theoretical thing so uh, how to solve this how to solve such questions so let's start with the question of uh, graph traversal what that is question on breadth first search so let's start with breadth first search so you have a question a uh, minimum path p can be found by applying breadth first search so breadth first search means that in a graph you will search at breadth and then breadth and then breadth similar like that similar you will uh, no uh, keep on exploring the breadth first fine okay in depth first search you keep on exploring the depth fine something like this so let's start minimum path p can be found by applying uh, so for finding minimum path you apply breadth first search that will begin at node a that is starting node a and end at e so this means what is node a and what is nd you can see the graph so this is node a and you, this is node e you have to apply bfs and calculate the minimum path fine so the algorithm uses two queues here we are using two queues so always remember in bfs we use queue data structure 
and in dfs depth first search we use a stack so if so, this is the very important question asked in interview that which data structure is used in dfs and which is used in bfs so in bfs we used queue in dfs we use stack so if you if you are confusing suppose you you are thinking that if i'll forget you cannot forget what you are understanding what you are learning now data structure so what is d considered it as a dfs so and what is s uh stack so if d is there then definitely in ds dfs that is for dfs stack is using so what is left q is left so q will use with bfs fine okay so let's start with the question okay so hold uh now uh you are using two q q1 and q2 q1 hold all the node that are processed while q2 origin of inserted node of q1 so what i'm talking about let's start let's see so here you have an adjacency list what is adjacency lists all the nodes which are adjacent to every node suppose if i'm considering node a so what nodes are adjacent to a b and d so there is b and d now for b which nodes are adjacent to b b c and f uh, a is not adjacent to B because there is no direction. Fine. So, uh, hope direction. Hope you understand directed graph. Now, I have already explained you all these things in my first video. Fine. So, if I say, suppose F. So, adjacent of F is only A because no node R. Uh, we, only we can reach uh, from F to A. None of the road can, node can be reached. Fine. Okay. Okay. Okay, so, uh, so we were discussing about uh, these adjacency uh, uh, list, uh, that is what, which nodes are adjacent to which node, fine. Okay, now comes uh, uh, how to solve this question. So first of all, we'll start from A because we have given, if nothing is given, you can start from any node. If nothing is given, you can start from any node. So what first of all we'll do, we'll add A to Q1. We have added A to Q1, node A to Q1 and null to Q2. So what is Q2? Q2 keep the origin from where A originated. Since A came first, there is no origin of A, so we'll keep 5. Now, let's see the, what origin means. Now, first, second step says delete node A from Q1. So, A is the front node, you will delete it. No, delete node A from Q1 and insert all its neighbor. So, inserting all its neighbor means we have to insert a neighbor of A. Now, you see adjacency list. No need to see the graph because you have already created adjacency. So, what are neighbor of A, B, and D? So, what we did, uh, uh, I have you know bolded. For, for making a bold means I have you no know, taken out from the queue this node is not existing exactly but why i'm keeping i'll explain you at last so a we have deleted now the neighbor of a are b and d now the thing which is coming in your mind can we keep d and b yes you can keep any order not even bd you can take it as db so nothing will happen nothing will go wrong fine so you can keep db also nothing nothing will change now see uh, what uh, q2 will contain so the origin of a was 5 but bd both came from a so we are writing a no again i am saying please keep watching i'll explain why i'm using this origin delete the node b now which is front node b so i'll delete the node b and insert all its neighbor so what are neighbor of b c and f so what after deleting b uh, d was already there so i'll insert c and f now this till here we have already completed c f and the origin of c f and how c and f came to the picture came to the queue so c f came just because of b deleted just because they are neighbor of b so uh their their both origin will be b fine okay now now what we have to delete we have to delete d so delete d from q1 and insert all it neighbor so the neighbor of d is neighbor of d neighbor of d is a b c d neighbor of d is f now can we insert f no if something which is already in a queue or something which we have already processed we will not insert since after deleting d the neighbor is f since f is already there so we will not insert f twice and suppose neighbor of d was a which was already pr uh, processed so we will not repeat it again so that is why i am not deleting it so i'm just bold making it bold fine so nothing will change uh, in origin in q2 nothing will change fine but now we bold d now move further so in fifth step what we'll do now we'll have to delete what now we'll have to delete c so we'll be a bolded c and we'll insert all the neighbor of c so neighbor of c is e and g since e is already e and g fine so e and g both are not there in q so we'll insert e and g now their origin is what from where eg came they as their neighbor of c so 
uh, it will be C. Fine. Okay. Now next node will be F. So delete node F from Q. So if I will delete F, so I will make F bold. Now neighbor of F is A which we have already you know, deleted, which we have already processed. We will not insert it again. So nothing will change nothing will change in q1 nothing will change in q2 now we'll delete e so what is node e so delete node e and if you see e the neighbor of e are b and f and b and f both are already there so again nothing will change and the q1 and q2 will remain like that now we'll delete g now we'll delete g so uh node g will be uh uh, deleted from Q and insert all its neighbor. So what is G? The neighbor of G is E, e is already there. So nothing will change. Uh, everything will remain same. As now every element has been deleted from the Q and there is no element left to be deleted. So we'll stop here. So finally we'll stop here. So we'll stop here. And this is how we have you no know, traversed all the node. If you see A, B, C, A, B, A, B, D, C, E, F, E, G, we have traversed all the nodes. So this is the final result. But but your question was tell me the tell me the it can be also the final step but your question was one more tell me tell me tell us the minimum path from a to e so the terminal node the terminal node where you have to reach is e not g so if you see this the last q now you will understand why i have maintained this q2 so since we are considering e so i will write e over here as i have to reach e now origin of e was c now origin of e was c so what i'll write i'll write i'll origin of e was c fine and now c came from c came from which node now see the origin origin of e was c now check in above check in above q1 that c came from which node b so write b again again b now check b b the origin of b now check the origin of b origin of b was a so write a fine okay i'm, I'm so sorry i'm so sorry uh, again g, g uh, first of all e the origin of e was c so i will write c i'm sorry fine okay then c then c the origin of c was b so i'll write b and the origin of b was a i'll write a and the origin of a was 5 so i will not write anything so now the path is from a to e a to b yes then b to c yes then c to e c you have used minimum path to reach e fine so this is how your what uh breadth first search is working so if you have not understood let 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 me tell you again S consider consider a node where you want to reach you want to reach e that's why we are not considering g so write e now see origin of e is c right c now see the origin of c origin of c is b right b fine c f is not coming in picture because we are seeing only the origin now see the origin of b which is a fine okay so now this is what your uh, path is this is your path is fine okay